going on today, guys. So I have dropped by um, Old Town Nutrition here in Old Town, Nevada, and uh, got myself this Captain America drink. It's not bad. If you guys want the address, just leave a, leave the question in the comments, and then I'll just, you know, give you guys the address to it. It's actually not bad. Now my picture taken for their Instagram. So, uh, yeah, go find me on there. Uh, it's Old Town Nutrition, I believe, is their Instagram. But today, today, I have some Target shoes, some Target slip-on shoes. I'm gonna go skate to Walmart and back just to see how they go, see how they do. And uh, yeah, these are $20, uh, $20 slip-ons, which compared to the ones where right now that are about 50 to 60 typically. But uh, other than that, well, let's get to skating and see how it goes. So the only thing I'm changing about these shoes is the one and only thing I change about every shoe is uh, gotta put uh, my insoles using Dr. Scholl's. I think I use the one, yeah, I use the ones that massage your heel because I have a little bit of a heel spur that if I don't use these insoles, my heel will just be in absolute pain later tonight and uh, I don't feel like being in pain. So uh, yeah, that's the only thing that I'm changing, but otherwise keeping these shoes the exact same, no sh Shugu, I don't use Shugu anyway because I'm not doing a whole lot of, you know, ollies, kickflips or anything like that. Anything that would tear up the shoe. But uh, other than that, uh, let's get to skating.
These shoes definitely are not up to what Vans are because you see they're a little stiff when you pull them like or cut all the strings off and start wearing them. Because uh, when I was walking on them, when I first, you know, got them, they made like a weird uh, like popping thing. I don't know if that's just from the material they use, but uh, yeah, they definitely made like a weird popping noise. They don't quite do it now, but they still feel a little stiff. But uh, yeah, other than that, um, they didn't really feel like they had much grip on the board, even with a dry uh, sole or outsole, I guess. Uh, so yeah, not much grip on the board, and yeah, the everything about these just feels super thin, super light, and not in a good way, because uh, yeah, they had a lot of board feel, but it's feeling like they're going to get it torn up super easy within like the next week or so, especially if you're like doing a lot of heavy longboarding, skateboarding at the skate park, in the streets, wherever, but uh, other than that, uh, these shoes would do you okay for like maybe half a season while you saved up like 60 bucks to go get a good pair of vans but uh my recommendation is always find like a discount store like they have at colorado mills that's where i usually get my vans is just go to the, like their discount wall because i know i'm going to tear up my vans anyway and uh just buy a pair of shoes from their discount wall or find like a couple sale shoes and do it that way instead of going to target and finding 20 dollars shoes that would have last you maybe half a season you could go to the van store or some like a skate shop if they have like a sale going on and buy like a buy one get one half off that is a way better deal than 20 dollars shoes so other than that like comment subscribe and see you guys next video